In this video, see how easy it is to work efficiently by making multiple copies from the same image and applying different develop settings to each without using a lot of extra storage space. You'll also see how to place multiple copies in a Lightroom stack and see how snapshots can be used to work efficiently. So I'm going to start over here in the develop module down in the film strip. And I'm going to select the thumbnail and right click on it. And then I'm going to select Create Virtual Copy. And you can see down here in the film strip, we now have another copy, a virtual copy. And you can see the upturned uh, edge here that signifies that it's a virtual copy. I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And now I have two. And I'm going to make one more. OK, so I have the original right here and then three virtual copies. They all look the same right now. That'll change shortly. So I'm working on this virtual copy here. I'm going to come up under the Crop Overlay tool. Let's go ahead and give this a really radical crop and bring it down to just this point here. Hit the Return key, and there we go. So now you can see down in the film strip, that virtual copy is a crop version. I'm going to select another virtual copy. This time I'm going to just convert it to black and white. Just a simple black and white conversion. And you can see down here in the film strip that that virtual copy is now black and white. All right, one more. This time I'll go over and find a preset that I can apply that gives it a nice look. How about, um, let's see, cross process. There we go. All right, so now I have three versions of the original. You can see them clearly down here in the film strip. And I'm going to show you a way to further make your work efficient by stacking all these together. I'm going to select all of them and right click and select stacking group into stack. I could also do this in the library module exactly the same way. In fact, I'll go over to the library module now by hitting the G key in the grid mode. You can see that stacked photos, there's four of them in a stack. I can click on that number and it opens up the stack and there they all are. And I can collapse the stack by clicking on that number. So it's a very efficient way of holding multiple copies, virtual copies of the same image in one stack. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the develop module by hitting the D key from the library module. And here's an example where I want to print this picture. But before I print it, I want to use Lightroom 4's new soft proofing capabilities to make sure that I have colors that are in gamut. So you would think that this would be a really good candidate to make a virtual copy because, frankly, I don't want to have to make changes to the original. I may want to use that for another output. So I'm going to go ahead and select soft proofing, but I'm not going to create a virtual copy. I'll show you why. Okay. The reason I'm not creating a virtual copy is because Lightroom will do it for me automatically. All I need to do is come up over here underneath the histogram after I've selected soft proofing and select create proof copy. It'll automatically create a virtual copy. Now I don't even have to do that frankly because I have a profile selected now that's showing me that a lot of my colors in this image are not going to print very well. They're out of gamut for my printer or for this profile, the SRG profile. So I'm going to go and I'm going to try to bring those colors back into gamut. Now watch what happens when I start working on this image. I'm going to move clarity back a little bit. There, boom. The minute I start working on it, Lightroom says, hey, you really should make a, a virtual copy of this. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm creating a proof copy. And you can see down here in the film strip now, we have a virtual copy signified by a little upturned edge. So we can continue working on that image to get the colors in gamut. I probably will be very helpful if I bring vibrance down and saturation down. Okay, it doesn't look so great on the screen now, but in fact, this will print more accurately. Okay, so that's the virtual copies when it comes to soft proofing. It's just done automatically for you. I want to show you one more thing. Over here, I'm going to select another image from the film strip. Let's go ahead and click on that. And I want to show you another way of also working efficiently 
But instead of using virtual copies, close that, we're going to use snapshots. So let's just say I want to make a black and white version of this image. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'll just choose black and white over here. Okay, wait a minute. We need to undo because I have soft proofing on. Got to remember to turn that off. Okay, soft proofing is off. Now let's start over again. So now we'll come over and I'm going to create a black and white version of this image. Let's say I like that black and white image. This is where I want it to be. I could probably tweak it a little bit, make it a little darker, give it a little more contrast. I like that. So I'm going to go over and open up the snapshots and I'm going to select the plus sign here. And I'm going to give the snapshot a name. Lightroom 4 automatically gives you a date associated with a snapshot. That's new, but I want it to be a descriptive name. And I'm just going to call it black and white version. Black and white version, okay? So then create. And you can see it shows up here under snapshots. Now I'm going to go to the history. So I'm going to select update to current process 2011. And you can see what happens. I'm back to this version of the uh, image. Now this time, uh, let's say I want to really pump up the vibrance, contrast, give it a real surrealistic look like that. Play around with it a little bit with the exposure. There's so many things I can do. Oh, okay, and I like that. Well, instead of making a virtual copy, I can come over to Snapshots, hit the plus sign, and I'll go Colorful. Colorful copy. All right, Create. And now we'll go back to the current process, 2012. Now watch this. I'm going to go, just so you can see how this is going to work, I'm going to go back over to the library module, grid view, by hitting the G key. Let's say a few days go by. I open this image in the develop module, and I go, oh, you know, I made some other versions I really liked. Ah, they're under snapshots. So I'm going to click on the black and white version. There it is. And now the colorful copy. There it is. Okay, so to recap, we created a virtual copy, actually several virtual copies. We saw how to stack those virtual copies. We saw how Lightroom soft proofing will automatically create a virtual copy for you. And we also saw how we can use snapshots to make multiple versions of the same image. All of this is a good way to work efficiently in Lightroom.